Can we uh, can we talk about original Pizzagate? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So what yeah. happened? So I have a great game against the Washington Redskins. A great game. Our and, words. And I'm balling, doing my thing. It's like one of my best games is the Detroit Lions. We we beat up on them, and I'm feeling myself. Right. We go back home, and I'm in Detroit. I shoot a, a video with um, what's my guy? Uh, Kid Rock. No, Mike. Uh, the guy with the Pill and Ibiza. Um, oh, Mike, oh Mike, yeah, Mike Posner. Posner. Mike Posner, yeah. my guy, right? Buried so, in Detroit. Yeah, very Detroit. Detroit. So we in there, we're in Detroit. We're, we're doing the video. I'm in the middle of the stadium. I'm like, yo, this is just like the perfect weekend. You know what I'm saying? It's Monday. And then I go to Happy's Pizza, which shout out to my guy, Happy. He owns a whole bunch of pizza chains out there. So we're over at his place. Is it Detroit style? Detroit. Detroit style. You can't love that. Detroit style's good. Detroit style's good. Underrated. Underrated. Crust. Yeah. yeah. Underrated mm, crust, right? Yeah, heavy, Greek right? Tell me about it. A lot of, a lot of uh, marinara. So it's, mm-hmm. tomato sauce is heavy and strong. On there, so we're uh, so we're eating, relaxing. You know what I'm saying? We're drinking. We watch the game, and then after the game, I'm chilling. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do nothing. I'm gonna just let the liquor relax and subside. So I keep eating, hydrate, and then I'm like, Yo, I'm gonna take all this food home. He's like, Yeah, go ahead. So I put all this food in my passenger seat, and then there's a hookah spot right on this road before I go on the freeway. This is after I done sobered up. I go to the hookah spot, see my young dudes that don't play with hookah. They like, yo, Nate, what's up, bro? We didn't know if you were gonna come this weekend. What's up, bro? Let's take a shot. I'm like, nah, let's take a shot. I'm like, nah, look, I can't because I'm about to drive home, bro. I'll come through tomorrow, I promise y'all. They're like, yo, every time you come, you take a shot. I'm like, I do, but it's late. I'm already sobered up. Let me just hop in the car. That saved me. I promise you that saved me. I get in the car, I'm driving, and it's late. And I'm gassing the freeway, driving with my knees, playing um, um, the new Drake, Take Care album. So I'm playing with the auxiliary cord, driving my knees, I'm looking up, looking up. And then I look up for a third time, and I'm pushing up on this van, like this gray van. And as I get close to it, instead of just braking, I do like this. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I could break, but all oh, this food is going to go everywhere. And I had a little Yukon that I got, had tricked out. And in my head, I'm like, I'll just yank the wheel. So I yank the wheel. And then I'm headed towards the embankment. And I'm like, all right. Not really panicked, though. I'm like, I'm good. Let me correct it. I yanked the wheel back right. And I'm like, yo, damn, what is going on? And I'm headed down towards um, the opposite side of the freeway. And then I'm like, all right, I got one more chance. (laughs) I yank it again. And I'm headed towards the medium, the concrete medium. And I'm like, the car starts to straight up like this. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, no, I ain't good. I ain't good. And then, boom. And I'm holding on to the steering wheel like this. This hand slips off. This hand stays on. I tense up and lock up. So I get out. My passenger side door was uh, completely crushed. And I'm like, all right. Am I all right? I'm tripping. I look for the van. The van's gone. I don't even know where it is. I'm like, was that a, a was ghost van? Yeah. yeah. Was it a ghost van? I don't know. So then it's coming I get for out. a pizza. It was the Noid. <laughs> It's annoyed. Shout yeah. out to the annoyed. Uh, I get out on the other side. So now I'm like this. All right. I'm a little sore. But I'm like, let me check, let me check my money makers because this is where it's at. Check my knees. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. You know, bang them up against the, the 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 front of the vehicle, but I'm good. And I'm like, all right. I'm looking at my sweater, I got a little blood. I'm like, okay. I busted my nose on the the um, emergency bag or whatever it is. So I'm like, all right. Let me check my hands. And this one's going like this. 1,000 miles a minute. My right hand is going 1,000 miles a minute. My left hand is going extremely slow. And I'm like, that is odd. Why would that be happening? So then I'm like, shucks. I slide my sleeve up. My bones on either side, on both sides of my wrist, displaced oh. by about an inch. Not protruding, though. But I can see I just broke my arm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so out loud, there's nobody here uh, around me, of course. Um, single car accident. And I'm like, damn, I just fucked up our season. That's exactly what I said to myself. Because at that point, me and Matt Stafford had a crazy rhythm. Mm. I think in the preseason and then leading up to that Washington game, we were leading the NFL in quarterback and receiver percentage. And we had such a good rhythm that when Matt dropped back, he's looking for Calvin, he knew exactly where I was going to be. And I was going to come down with it. I can go. I got a 40-inch vertical. Like, throw it up over the middle. You want me to go in traffic? You want me to go on the outside, light up these dudes, catch a reverse, I'll do whatever. And I knew that that was going to shake up our season so bad that we wouldn't recover. And, you know, this is like the, the ups and downs and roller coaster rides of how, like, crazy things are. So in my head, I'm like, I'm completely depressed. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to be back on the field. All these starts I run through my head is probably the last time I'm put on Detroit jersey. This is crazy. 
And then this dude pulls up and like this red charger and this black dude with braids. He's like, all right, you good, bro? You good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, fam. And I'm on the phone, like, calling the team and calling, you know, my wife and everybody. You good, fam? You good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. He's like, oh, oh, snap. Nate Burleson, is that you? I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah. He's like, you straight? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, man. The police are coming down their way. He's like, okay, cool. I will write around, but, you know, I got some warrants. And I'm like, <laughs> like, that's the most Detroit thing yeah, yeah. you could have just said. He sped off. Police come. The officer asked me a question, like, what happened? I told him I was mm-hmm. driving. I swear the car. I thought I was going to hit it. And I didn't want to spill everything. And then he looks, and all of that food is just smashed. It's like barbecue sauce, marinara sauce, and ranch all on the bottom of the floorboard. Barbara the passenger seat. Oh, yeah, no. So he's like, and then he stops, and he asks me again. And you can still hear the Drake playing. And, you know, nothing's sadder than Drake singing to you after a car accident. Yeah. It's one thing to be drinking and thinking I'm about upset. your ex. Yeah, yeah but. <laughs> yeah. And pizza everywhere. But like, him just harmonizing to you like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, you done fucked up. Now, it's, that's <laughs> what I'm thinking in my head. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And then he asked me a few more times. He realized, like, my story's not going to change. And we get there. You know what's so crazy <laughs> is that I get to the hospital. At this point, they're taking my arm in this harness, and they're trying to reset it. So they're pulling the top of my wrist up while holding the bottom of my arm stable so they can reset the bones and get it ready for surgery the following day. And the nurse who was doing it was a guy with a Green Bay Packers oh, nurse cap mm, on. He's going to fuck it up. Mm-hmm. And... I, I wouldn't say he was trying to hurt me, mm-hmm. but he definitely was taking joy yes. in the fact that I was in pain. Yeah. Even so much so, he said, he said, uh, hey, man, listen, I know this is kind of a bad time for me to tell this joke, but I'm so glad you're not going to be playing this year. And I'm like, bro, like, this isn't like a guy at a bar and we're talking <laughs> yeah. fantasy, bro. Like, bite, my life is over right now. Right, like, right. Come on, man. Like, enough of the jokes. And then he's like, all right, well, all right, we got to pull blood, you know, just to make sure you weren't drinking. I was like, no, I was drinking early in the night, but... Um, I haven't had any drinks in hours. And he's like, yeah, but we still got to pour blood. And I was like, do we have to pour blood or do you want to pour blood? I was like, it doesn't matter to me, but like, you're adamant about this. You're the first person that said this. We've been in this hospital for like an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, oh, I, I, no, I just, I just feel like we have to. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what is this dude's agenda yeah, right now? Yeah. And then the cop comes in and is like, no, we already did the, the sobriety test. You're good. And the guy's like, but he said, we're good. Dude's like, the green, but, but. That's it fucking was, Packer fans yeah. for you. I was Fuck like, he was yeah. probably an yeah. owner of the team. He, Packer could've fans. Been, could've yeah. been. But yeah. at, at that point, I was like, oh, this football fandom is real. And I don't blame him. You know, yeah. why not? Get a hot story. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs>